Hey everybody, it's Death Adam back at the Death Shop. It is Thursday the 16th of April. And this year of the... <laughs> year of the virus. <laughs> okay, there's my dirt pile. Not very much left, guys. And the reason is, is because most of it's now up here. And I've got to get to cutting my grass. It's already... And the clover is already starting up, especially over there in the shade. So I'm going to have to pull that up. You can see, got some heavy rain going on here. Trying to kill the Ozark beauties that didn't want to die. I'm going to pull them because they just don't produce any berries for me. Try stars though, you can see I've got a bunch of little plants poking up out of the, poking up out of the peat. I'm going to let them get all wet here. Get some moisture to go with that greenery greenage, you know, and uh, we'll go from there. Alrighty chokes, I had to hit myself with the hose. <laughs> so this is the reason why I've done everything is because, man, look at those. They are totally 100% in full bloom now, these guys are. Now last time I was up here, there was a, uh, a bumblebee that chased me away. I've never seen an aggressive bumblebee. They're all over it now. All over it. So there must be a bumblebee hive around here somewhere. I don't mind. They pollinate things as long as they come to pollinate my garden. It'll be fine. Now the wind's been off and on today. So hopefully I'll be able to get this without too much feedback. But we've got our planting done for right now. I've got a little bit left to do. We've got to weed the berry row there. That's the black raspberry and the two blueberries. I'm going to have to weed all that out. Did not get to that today, but I will. And uh, got the sprinkler rolling over everything. Potatoes in the top. Second row is leeks, with the exception of the two pieces of garlic that I guess decided to go over winter, which the leek is right in the center of that one right there too, that's below the berries. Next one down from that is, uh, let's see here. We've got basil in the middle and a couple of rows of tomatoes going lengthwise along the side. And that's to prevent the deer from trying to eat them. So hopefully they'll see the nightshade and be like, or smell the nightshade and be like, oh, I don't want to touch that. Next rung down, I did the same thing. And I put uh, beans and peas there. Now that the wind died, I'm actually getting hit over here with the water. <laughs> see, the next rung down from that, I've got, uh, let's see, what did I put in there? I've got, oh, I'm going to have to think about it. <laughs> So you get some water in the camera there too. Like you said, the wind died down, so my adjustment I made for that to go over there and keep the water on the garden kind of is going a little long now. I have to readjust. All right, we're gonna try and do this real quick. One click. There it is. Back we go. There we go. That's better. That's only hitting down below here. Okay, asparagus is definitely in the bottom because that's where the asparagus is. And I missed a clump of grass right there too. Did my best to get everything out of there. <laughs> Wind kicking up on us today. Take a look and see how bad the water is on there. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. So the second rung up there is the garlic with the shallots on the one side. It's funny because I don't remember them saying to place those shallots so darn close, but I guess so. Let's see here. Uh, oh, cantaloupe. That's right. I had cantaloupe in one of those. I think I had it in the one that's below the basil. Or, no, I didn't. I had the cantaloupe is the, the second one, the one below the leeks. That's right. And then it's the basil with the tomatoes, the... Uh, the, the beans and peas, the peas are on that side, the beans are on that side because they're bush beans. I thought I had bush peas last time too, but I guess I got steak ones this time, so I'm going to have to string some wire up or something for them. Then of course, as always, we got strawberries on this side. And the second rung right above the strawberries there, where you can see the dark, that's right behind the one leak there that decided to grow out over winter time. It, uh, that's carrots it's all carrots and so to side I decided to do a smattering of lettuce just to try it out never tried it before 
one thing that you'll see is missing is corn and the reason why corn is missing is because I thought I'd bought it and I guess I messed up because I didn't buy any corn <laughs> which is funny but I do remember that that plot up there took every one that I had last year with the exception of like three but I thought I'd bought it seen a few butterflies today unfortunately seen a few hornets as well thought it would be a little bit early for them to be waking up but apparently not fortunately when I was chasing them around the yard they all flew off that direction somewhere I think they're beyond Wes's property though because he's pretty good about killing them too or at least getting me to kill them for him <laughs> one or the other so anyway yeah that is the garden it's all because the cherry tree said it's time to plant when it's time to plant you better get out there and plant so death out at the death shop saying I will catch you later. Everybody stay safe out there and uh, make sure you uh, take care of yourself and each other. Be well everybody.